a very important topic called as tumor suppressor genes. The name itself says that these genes are responsible for the suppression of the tumors which means they are acting against the formation of the tumors. So, these tumor suppressor genes encode proteins that regulate and suppress cellular proliferation mainly by inhibiting the progression of cell through the cell cycle that is the best example is the p53 gene and it is localized to the nucleus and has a weight of 53 kilo daltons and the half life is 20 minutes this gene p53 present on the chromosome 17 and prevents a cell with a damaged dna from entering into the s phase and hence prevents multiplication of the mutated cells if there is a DNA damage, P53 tells retinoblastoma gene to stop the cell cycle to allow for repair and if repair is not possible, then P53 tells cells to undergo apoptosis. This is how P53 is called as guardian of genome molecular policeman because it will never allow the cell to undergo abnormal proliferation because it plays a very important as well as major role in the anti-proliferative effect, DNA repair as well as in the apoptosis. All these three are the predominant features of P53. That's the reason because of all these features, P53 is again the most common gene mutations which is identified in the human cancers. And the mutation in the P53 gene causes the resistance in tumors mainly to the radiation as well as to the chemotherapy that is absolutely a bad effect and approximately greater than 50 percent of the human tumors contain the mutations of this particular gene where the most common mutation is dna binding domain it is down regulated by mdm2 where this particular MDM2 acts as oncogen and another important protein called as E6 protein what you can see over here of human papilloma virus inactivates P53 and like P53 there are like P63 and 73 or the other family of the P53 gene in this the P63 is responsible for differentiation of stratified squamous cell epithelia. And the next one is the P73 which is also a family of the P53 gene is the elder brother of P53 which is located in the chromosome 1 and plays an important role in the cell cycle arrest as well as apoptosis which is similar effect to that of P53. And now after discussing about P53 let us discuss about what is RB gene. RB gene is the first tumor suppressor gene to discover and the most common steady tumor suppressor gene is also RB gene and it is expressed in every cell type examined and the mutations of RB gene occurs in RB pocket. Viruses such as uh, polyoma, human papilloma virus, adenovirus mainly binds to the RB pocket. So, this retinoblastoma is the best example for this. And the loss of RB gene is associated with the retinoblastoma as well as osteosarcoma. And it is sporadic in 60% of the cases and familial that is hereditary in 40% of the cases. The chromosomal mutation in the hereditary retinoblastoma is 13Q14 but 13Q in osteosarcoma. And uh, the incidence of retinoblastoma is approximately seen in 30% of the cases. This is what you need to know about RB gene. Next, Nutson two hit hypothesis. So, according to the Nutson's two hit hypothesis, both the tumor suppressor genes must be inactivated for the formation of the tumor. And number of mutations of RB1 gene to be takes place for the retinoblastoma development is two times. Here, the two mutations can be two germinal or one germinal plus one somatic and the most common second site mutation associated with the mutation of rb gene is the osteosarcoma now let us talk about adenomatous polyposis coli 
which is also called as APC gene. APC gene is known for gatekeeper of the colonic neoplasia and is a tumor suppressor gene especially down regulates the WNT signaling pathway. So always you need to remember APC gene is the one responsible for down regulating WNT signaling pathway and this is associated with the familial adenomatous polyposis example called as FAP and it is the autosomal dominant condition associated with the deletion of the adenomatous polyposis coli that is APC gene which is located on the chromosome 5 and also the familial polyposis coli abbreviated as FPC characterized by greater than 100 adenomatous polyps. Colon carcinoma here occurs in 100% by the age of 40 if it is not treated. This is what you need to know about APC gene. Now let us talk about few important tumor suppressor genes where we will also talk about the functions, tumors associated with the somatic mutations and tumors associated with the inherited mutations. The first one is the transforming growth factor beta receptors where the growth inhibition is the one which is responsible and the tumors associated with the somatic mutations is the carcinomas of the colon and inherited is unknown. And the second one is the E. catherine. The important function of the E. catherine is the cell adhesion and uh, carcinoma of the stomach which is the tumor associated with the somatic mutation and with the inherited which is the familial gastric cancer. Next is the NF1 which is also called as neurofibromatosis 1. The important function of NF1 is the inhibition of the RAS signal transduction and of P21 cell cycle inhibitor and uh, the mutations which are associated with the somatic or the neuroblastomas and the hereditary is the neurofibromatosis type 1 and sarcomas and the next one is the NF2 which is also called as neurofibromatosis type 2. The important function is the cytoskeletal stability and uh, the tumors which are associated with the somatic mutations are the schwannomas and meningiomas and with the hereditary neurofibromatosis type 2, acoustic schwannomas and meningiomas. Next one is the APC as well as beta catechin. The important function is the inhibition of signal transduction where the mutations associated with the somatic are the carcinomas of the stomach, colon, pancreas as well as melanoma but the mutations which are associated with the inherited is the familial adenomatous polyposis coli as well as the colon cancer. And next one is the PTEN and the important function of the PTEN is the P13 kinase signal transduction and the somatic mutations associated cancers or the endometrial as well as prostate cancers and with the hereditary is the Cowden syndrome and next one is the SMAT2 as well as SMAT4. So the function of SMAT2 as well as SMAT4 is same that is uh, the transforming growth factor beta signal transduction and the mutations somatic mutations which are associated in this are the colon as well as pancreatic tumors and hereditary is unknown. And next one is the RB1 is a tumor suppressor gene and the important function is the regulation of the cell cycle and the retinoblastoma, osteosarcoma and the carcinomas of the breast colon as well as lung are the tumors which are associated with the somatic mutations and the tumors which are associated with the hereditary or the retinoblastomas as well as osteosarcoma. And next the important function of the P53 is it is responsible for arresting of the cell cycle and it stimulates apoptosis in response to that of DNA damage. And uh, the somatic mutations which are associated are majority of the human cancers and if we talk specifically about hereditary leaf from any syndrome multiple carcinomas as well as sarcomas. Next one is a WT1 gene which is also called as the Wilms tumor 1 gene. The important function of this is the nuclear transcription and the somatic mutations can cause the tumor like Wilms tumor and hereditary is also same Wilms tumor. And the last one in this category is the P16 INK4. The important function is the regulation of the cell cycle 
mainly by the inhibition of the cyclin dependent kinases and the important tumors which are associated with the somatic mutations are the pancreatic breast as well as esophageal cancers but with the hereditary it is the malignant melanoma so all this is about uh, the tumor suppressor gene its function the tumors which are associated with the somatic mutations as well as with the hereditary mutations